Do you remember that thrilling moment when you first tuned into the 1985 TV series, Mac Jiver? It was a time when TV screens lit up with a unique blend of intelligence, resourcefulness, and a dash of adventure. Perhaps you were drawn into the world of Angus Mac Jiver, a man who could engineer a life-saving gadget from a paperclip and duct tape, making him the ultimate problem solver of his era. As you journeyed through those episodes, did you find yourself marveling at Mac Jiver's uncanny ability to transform everyday objects into tools of ingenuity? Perhaps it was the time he diffused a bomb using a chocolate bar and a rubber band or rigged an escape using a simple stick of chewing gum. Those moments were the essence of the show, captivating audiences and leaving us in awe of the power of human creativity. Now, as we delve into some random facts about this iconic series, y'all discover the behind-the-scenes magic that made Mac Jiver not just a show, but a cultural phenomenon. So, get ready to uncover some intriguing tidbits that will deepen your appreciation for this classic series, all while reliving those unforgettable moments that first hooked you in. Do it. Do it. Do it. Mac Jiver, the iconic 1985 TV series, originated from the creative minds of Lee David Zlotoff and brought to life the resourceful and brilliant character, Angus Mac Jiver, portrayed by Richard Dean Anderson. The show revolved around Mac Jiver, a troubleshooter for the Phoenix Foundation, who had an uncanny ability to solve complex problems with unconventional, everyday items. Mac Jiver's ingenuity and aversion to violence set him apart in the action-adventure genre. He used his scientific knowledge in a Swiss army knife to defuse bombs, escape traps, and fort villains, all while maintaining a strong moral compass. One of the show's most iconic features was the Mac Jiverism a term coined to describe Mac Jiver's creative problem-solving methods. Each episode was a testament to his resourcefulness, inspiring viewers to think outside the box. This unique style made Mac Jiver not just an action series, but a celebration of intellect and practicality. The series had a significant impact on popular culture, solidifying Mac Jiver as a household name and a symbol of intelligence and ingenuity. It ran for seven successful seasons and even spawned two TV movies. Beyond its immediate success, Mac Jiver became a cultural reference point and influenced subsequent TV shows and films featuring characters with similar problem-solving skills. In essence, Mac Jiver became a symbol of the power of intelligence and resourcefulness in the face of adversity, leaving an enduring legacy in the world of television. World of television. In the world of 1,985 seconds iconic TV series Mac Jiver, where resourcefulness reigns supreme, one little known fact adds a layer of intrigue to the character's mystique. It wasn't until near the end of the show, in the episode titled Good Night Mac Jiver, Part 2, that Mac Jiver's given name was revealed. Originally intended to be Stace Mac Jiver, this name remained shrouded in secrecy during the pilot episode. However, when it inadvertently slipped out and became common knowledge among fans, the decision was made to simply refer to him as Mac or Mac Jiver for the remainder of the series. This revelation was just one of the many surprises that Mac Jiver had in store for its dedicated viewers. Created by Lee David Zlotoff and brought to life by the talented Richard Dean Anderson, the show followed the adventures of Angus Mac Jiver, a brilliant and resourceful problem solver who used his wits and a Swiss army knife to overcome any obstacle. But the intrigue didn't end there. In one of the penultimate episodes, Mac Jiver discovered he had a son, adding a new dimension to his character. His son's middle name turned out to be the same as Mac Jiver's first name, further deepening the connection between the two generations. Mac Jiver also had a unique setting, thanks to a suggestion from none other than Henry Winkler. The idea of Mac Jiver living on a houseboat, which became an iconic aspect of the show, was credited to Winkler, showcasing the collaborative nature of the entertainment industry. Another interesting tidbit from the show's production relates to Dana Elkar, who portrayed Pete Thornton, Mac Jiver's friend and boss. As the onset of glaucoma began to rob Elkar of his sight in real life, the show's creators decided to incorporate the same condition into his character's storyline, adding a layer of realism and depth to the character. In the end, Mac Jiver was a show filled with surprises, both on and off the screen, leaving an indelible mark on television history. From the mystery of Mac Jiver's name to the collaborative efforts of industry legends, it remains a beloved classic to this day. 
In Brazilian broadcasting, the opening theme of the 1985 TV series Mac Jiver was the iconic song Tom Sawyer by the legendary rock band Rush. This unusual choice of theme music added a unique flair to the show's introduction, setting it apart from the standard television fare of its time. Mac Jiver, portrayed by Richard Dean Anderson, was known for his resourcefulness and ability to solve complex problems using everyday items. However, one intriguing behind-the-scenes fact about the series involves Dana Elkar, who played Mac Jiver's friend and boss, Pete Fortin. Elkar's stunt double during the show's action-packed scenes was none other than Don S. Davis. Don S. Davis' connection to Mac Jiver goes beyond stunt work. He later went on to play General George Hammond, Richard Dean Anderson's superior officer in another beloved science fiction series, Stargate SG-1. This connection between the two shows adds an interesting layer to the careers of both actors and demonstrates the tight-knit world of television production. In Mac Jiver, the titular character famously eschews the use of firearms, citing a childhood event as the reason for his opposition to guns. However, there are a few notable exceptions. In the pilot episode, Mac Jiver fires an AK-47 and then quickly hands it to the pilot he's rescuing to provide cover fire. Additionally, in the opening gambit of Mac Jiver, target Mac Jiver, he uses a gun to confront the bad guys. In Mac Jiver, strictly business, Mac Jiver points and intends to use a gun, but his actions are complicated by amnesia, and he ultimately stops himself. These fascinating tidbits from the world of Mac Jiver shed light on the show's unique characteristics and the actor's connections to other television projects. From its unconventional choice of theme music to the intriguing career overlaps of its cast members, Mac Jiver remains a source of fascination for fans and TV historians alike. alike. In the world of 1985 television, one name stood out as the ultimate problem solver, Mac Jiver. The show, which ran for seven seasons, featured a resourceful protagonist who could fashion life-saving devices from the most mundane objects. These clever improvisations, known as Mac Jiverisms, became the hallmark of the series. Behind the scenes, a unique decision was made regarding these Mac Jiverisms. While they were all based on scientific fact, not all the steps needed to create these inventions were shown on screen. This intentional omission was driven by a desire to protect young viewers. The show's creators were concerned that children might attempt to replicate these experiments themselves, potentially leading to accidents or injuries. As a result, the show struck a balance between educating viewers about science and safety. Another intriguing aspect of the show was the use of a pseudonym for directing credits. Several episodes of Mac Jiver were helmed by a director using the name Alan Smithy. This pseudonym has long been employed in the film and television industry by directors who wish to disassociate themselves from a project. While not a common practice, it added an aura of mystery to the series and left viewers wondering about the reasons behind these directorial choices. Lastly, Mac Jiver's iconic Swiss Army knife underwent subtle changes during the early episodes. His most frequently used knife was a Spartan model from Victor Inox. However, keen-eyed fans would notice a different knife in the opening credits of each episode. This knife was a Wenger, distinguished by its long keychain. These subtle variations in Mac Jiver's trusty tool only added to the character's mystique and attention to detail. In retrospect, Mac Jiver remains a beloved and innovative series, not only for its problem-solving hero, but also for the intriguing choices made both on and off the screen. In a daring move that saved the iconic 1985 TV series Mac Jiver from the brink of cancellation, the production team made a strategic relocation that transformed the show's dynamic. The first two seasons of the show were entirely shot in the Los Angeles area. However, the network's threat to cancel the series loomed large due to the exorbitant costs of location filming and the time-consuming logistics of moving the production crew over a six-day shoot schedule. With the sword of cancellation hanging over their heads, the show's producers, including the renowned Henry Winkler, made a pivotal decision. They moved the production to Vancouver, a location where transitions between various settings could be executed within a mere hour. This swift maneuver allowed episodes to seamlessly shift from ocean scenes to dense forests, to bustling metropolitan settings in just a single day. The result was a faster-paced, high-octane adventure series that showcased Mac Jiver's resourcefulness like never before. 
This strategic relocation breathed new life into the show and gave writers the creative freedom to immerse Mac Jiver in a whirlwind of action and adventure. However, by the time the seventh season rolled around, production had returned to its original Los Angeles base. Intriguingly, the character of Mac Jiver is known by his first name, Angus, but there's a quirky twist to this nomenclature. His grandfather, Harry, affectionately referred to him as Bud, adding an endearing touch to the character's backstory. The casting of the lead role, Mac Jiver, also held its own fascinating story. Richard Dean Anderson clinched the iconic role when the casting director noticed a distinctive trait during his audition. Anderson was unafraid to wear his glasses, showcasing a lack of pretension that resonated with the creative team's vision for the character. This small but significant detail captured the essence of Mac Jiver's unassuming and resourceful nature. These behind-the-scenes insights into the making of Mac Jiver shed light on the series' evolution and the meticulous casting choices that contributed to its enduring appeal. It's a testament to the ingenuity both on and off-screen that made Mac Jiver a beloved household name in television history. As we draw the curtain on this journey through the iconic 1985 TV series, Mac Jiver, I invite you to pause and reflect on the incredible moments this show has gifted us over the years. Mac Jiver was more than just a TV series. It was a symbol of ingenuity, resourcefulness, and the enduring spirit of human problem solving. Richard Dean Anderson's portrayal of the titular character, Angus Mac Jiver, left an indelible mark on our hearts, inspiring us to think outside the box and face challenges head on. Perhaps you remember the nail-biting suspense of Mac Jiver defusing a bomb using nothing but a paperclip and a rubber band. Or maybe it's the heartfelt moments when he used his wits to help those in need that resonate with you. This series wasn't just about gadgets and action. It was about the triumph of intellect and creativity over adversity. It encouraged us to believe that, even in the most dire circumstances, we possess the power to craft solutions and change our fate. Now, I encourage you to share your favorite memories, thoughts, or personal anecdotes about Mac Jiver. How did this series touch your life? Did it inspire you to tackle challenges in your own unique way? Your stories are a testament to the enduring impact of Mac Jiver on generations of viewers. Thank you for taking this nostalgic journey with us, reminiscing about Mac Jiver, and for sharing your thoughts. Your engagement adds depth and richness to our collective appreciation of this beloved show. Until our next adventure together, stay inspired and resourceful. With gratitude. With gratitude. With 